And then first of all, I'm going to ring the gong. And again, welcome everyone. It's Monday, it's a beautiful day out. Soles of our feet together, knees out wide, starting to move down on our backs. Allowing our knees to fall open with gravity. Allowing our shoulders to fall open with gravity as well. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing in to a four count, holding to a four count, and exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies, as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through bodies and let's begin inhale two three four hold two three four and exhale two three four and it could be for you or for someone you love. Feel 
feel that intention with one deep inhale and one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale knees to the left, arms to the right. Look over that right shoulder. Again, breathing into this simple twist, opening up those right obliques as you do, and smile and it's Monday. Again, opening them up to release any toxins that we've been storing over the weekend. back to center. Exhale, knees to the right, arms to the left. Look over your left shoulder and breathe. And again, breathing into this simple twist, releasing toxins, massaging your internal organs as you do. Opens up those left obliques this time. Inhale back to center, wrap your arms around your knees, grab opposite elbows, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. And then from here, cross that right leg over left, wrap your feet, right arm under left, wrap your arms, eagle arms, eagle legs. As you touch your fingers and toes to the mat, <clears throat> exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale back, exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale back, exhale, elbows to knees. Two more or seven more. Inhale back. Exhale forward, inhale back, exhale forward. Again, you can stop here or follow us. Inhale back, exhale forward, inhale back, exhale forward, inhale back. Exhale forward, two more. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. And exhale forward. Unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. Good job. Cross that left leg over right, wrap your feet. Left arm under right, wrap your arms. Eagle arms, eagle legs. Inhale as you touch your fingers and toes to the mat. Exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Two more or seven more. Inhale back. Exhale forward, inhale back, exhale forward, and again you can stop here or follow us, inhale back, exhale forward, inhale back, exhale forward, inhale back, Exhale forward, two more if you're with us. Inhale back, exhale forward, inhale back, and exhale forward. Good job, unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. And then from here, inhale first, 
Exhale as you release your legs down to the end of the mat. Inhale as you push your hips up, placing the palms of your hands underneath your buttocks. Walk those elbows in. We're moving into a Matsyasana, fish pose. Increasing our immunity as we do. Inhale as you push into your elbows. Coming up on the crowns of your heads. Again, in Matsyasana, fish pose. And while we're here, we're opening up our sinuses, opening up that area between your rib cages, and increasing our immunity. Let's do three lion's breaths while we're here, inhaling through our noses, sighing it out while we tick, tick out our tongues. <laughs> Inhale. Again, inhale. One more time, inhale. Good job. Inhale as you push those elbows into the mat. Coming down onto the backs of your heads, release your hands and roll over onto the right side, oh, excuse me, left side, left elbow, left palm of your hand down. Actually, you can be on whatever side you want to. We'll be doing both of them, whichever is better to start with. Inhale, that right foot in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you. Again, in infinity pose. Dragging that right shoulder back and down. Opening up. Smiling, breathing in and out in infinity pose. Maybe grabbing on to your calf, dragging it towards you if this is in your practice. And smile. Again, it's Monday.
our shoulders, our hearts, our hips, our thighs, in humbly bowing half lotus. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk them to the right, grabbing onto the right knee with your left hand. Bring that right hand back and maybe rock forward and take a bind, grabbing onto that right foot. Again, in bound half lotus, breathing in and out, and smile, it's Monday. Inhale, back to center. Exhale as you release your right foot. Inhale your left foot up on top of your right thigh. And again, right half lotus. We're going to do a deep twist if you'd like to, maybe not quite so deep. If it feels better, inhale those arms all the way up. Exhale as you open up to the left. And again, drag that right elbow on the outside of your left thigh if you can. And if not, just drag it to the center, placing it on the mat. Again, as deep as possible, opening ourselves up, releasing any toxins. I smile. Inhale back to center. And exhale. Reach, 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 reach. Fingertips come down. Hearts come down. Maybe your third eye comes down. Again, in humbly bowing half lotus, breathing in and out. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. 
exhale as you walk them to the left, grabbing onto your left knee with your right hand. Draw that left hand back and possibly rock forward and take a bind. Inbound, cat lotus. And smile again, opening those shoulders, opening your heart to the side wall. Shoulders are back and down. Inhale, back to center. Good job. Exhale as you release that foot. Place your fingertips, or place your hands on your knees. Place your fingertips. Inhale, that left arm up. And exhale down to the right, onto that right elbow. And again, this stretch is different because we usually start with our feet crossed differently. Looking up towards those fingertips if you'd like to, feeling that energy coursing from your left hip all the way up through the tips of your left fingers. Open up those left obliques. Inhale back to center. Exhale first. Inhale that right arm up and exhale down to the left. Again, looking up towards the ceiling. Opening up those right obliques. Feeling that energy coursing through you from your right hip all the way up. are above our knees, and if we look between our legs, we shouldn't see our feet. Let's go ahead and inhale first to cow. Again, drag those spines down, look up towards the ceiling, opening up your spine. Exhale, bending those elbows, dragging our hearts up into cat. elbows, transitioning into cat. One last time, inhale, cow, and exhale, to cat. Good job. Come back to a flat back, inhale, that right arm all the way up. Exhale as you thread it under, coming down onto that right shoulder. Keep your hips squared to the front of the room. Inhale, that left arm up. Bend your elbow, find that right hip crease, and breathe. Breathing in to thread the needle, opening your hearts to the side wall through the breath. Inhale, that left arm up, exhale down, inhale that right arm all the way up, exhale down, good job.
right arm up. Exhale down. Inhale that left arm all the way up. And exhale down. Good job. And then from here, let's go ahead and curl our toes under. Sit back on our heels. Again, opening up our toes as we do. And then from here, make infinity symbols with your wrists. If this is in your practice, opening up your wrists, opening up your toes as you do, breathing in and out, and smile. Draw those arms overhead, drag your shoulders back and down, draw your pelvis bone in, in the Utita, if this is in your practice, and then possibly draw those hands behind you, fingertips touch, pushing your fingertips up towards the crown of your head, in Anjali Mudra, shoulders are back and down. Breathing in and out. Again, we hold this position for one minute to open those toes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rocking forward on your elbows. Slap at your toes. Good job. And then from here, plant the palms of your hands into the mat. Curl your toes under, inhale first, exhale back. To down dog, maybe walking the dog, dragging your hearts back towards your thighs, breathing in and out. Shoulders back and down. Again, in our first Ardha Mukhushvasana of the day, let's walk those feet forward halfway. Funny, this shirt does not allow me to see anything. Got this big blinder in front of me. Inhale that right arm all the way up. Exhale as you cross it under, grabbing on your right ankle and then possibly inhale that left leg up behind you if this is in your practice in a standing split pull yourself in to rise higher and then exhale down sorry it also comes untucked there we go Other side, inhale, that right arm all the way up. Exhale as you cross under, grabbing on to that left ankle. Inhale, that right leg up behind you as high as you can in standing splits. Breathing in and out. Exhale down good job and then from here let's go ahead and jump back draw those elbows in inhale first exhale down chaturanga down inhale up as you place your elbows on the mat we're in sphinx pose Again, as we're in Sphinx Pose, remember to draw those shoulders back and down as much as you can. 
looking as proud and as elegant as you can in your Sphinx pose. Good job. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend that left knee. Look back at your left foot. Opening up your necks, your shoulders. Exhale down. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend that left leg, or right leg, excuse me, looking back at your right foot. Exhale forward. Inhale first. Exhale, look back once again at your left foot. Inhale forward. Exhale, look back at your right foot. Good job. Inhale forward. And then from here, let's go ahead and exhale as you extend your arms on either side, place that right cheek on the mat. And again, relax, allow yourselves to melt into the mat. Inhale as you bend that left elbow, placing your left hand at shoulder height. Exhale as you push into the mat, rolling over onto that right shoulder. Now keep that arm flat against the mat. We're opening up that right shoulder as we do. Again, this can also be done standing against a wall, facing the wall. It's a little less intense. Keeping those shoulders healthy. Inhale back to center. Place that left cheek on the mat. Exhale first. Inhale as you bend that right arm, placing that right hand at shoulder height. Exhale as you roll over onto the left side. Breathing in and out. Again, opening up that left shoulder. And as you can see, my left arm is flat against the mat or the floor. Inhale back to center. Plant the palms of your hands into the mat. Curl your toes under. Inhale first. Exhale back to down dog. Again, walking the dog. If this is in your practice, don't have to. Look towards the front of the mat. Bend your knees, flatten out your backs, shoulders back and down in bear pose. Draw that pelvis bone in. Step or jump up lighter than air. Inhale, halfway up to Ardha Tadasana. Flatten out your backs, shoulders back and down. Exhale, down to Uttanasana. Standing forward, fold. Slightly bend your knees, inhale all the way up. Swan dive backward, hands come together. Slight back bend. And hands come to Anjali Mudra. And again, before we go any further, I will adjust my, my video. Nobody can see me. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Starting at the tops of our mats. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Grab that left wrist with your right hand and exhale over to the right. Again, my shirt really wants to come out. <laughs> Good job. 
So we're standing present. Maybe point that left toe and move into this even more if this is in your practice. Inhale back to center. And then grab your right wrist with your left hand. And exhale over to the left. Again, maybe move into it even more by pointing that right toe, extending it beside you. Inhale back to center. Exhale those arms down. Good job. And then from here, draw your hands to Venus Mudra. Inhale first, shoulders back and down. And exhale all the way down, flat backs. As far as you can, maybe allowing those wrists to fall towards the center of the room with gravity. Draw them back towards your waist before you release. Inhale halfway up to Ardha. Exhale down to Uttanasana. Inhale all the way up, swan dive backward, hands come together. Slight back bend. And hands come to Anjali Mudra. Bowing our heads in honor of our practices. Good job, everyone. Now we're going to be moving in to a sequence, starting with balance, and then moving into Trikonasana and reverse Trikonasana. So we start in Tadasana, mountain pose. Again, find your drishti, find that focal point. Don't look at us. <laughs> Again, all four corners of your feet are growing into the earth. Lift your toes. Calf muscles are moving inward. Thighs are moving inward. Pelvis is down the back. Abdomen is in. Our shoulders are back and down. The crowns of our heads are moving towards the heavens. And our hands are open to receive. Draw your hands to Anjali Mudra. Come up on that right tippy toe. Draw your right heel to your left ankle, to your left calf, or all the way up to your left thigh in Drikshasana A, B, or C, tree pose A, B, B, or C. Inhale, those arms up overhead into Talasana or palm tree. Up and down. Draw your knee to a marching position, flex your foot, and then inhale those arms up overhead again into stork. Pinky fingers in, expressing gratitude, holding space. And draw those hands together, Utita, and down. Take a giant step back with that right foot. Maybe walk your left foot out if you'd like to, or at a diagonal. Draw your hands to Venus Mudra. Inhale first, shoulders back and down. Exhale, humbly bow yourselves. As far as you can over that left knee. Good job. Maybe allow those wrists to fall towards the center of the room. Draw them back towards your waist before you release. Place them on either side of your left foot. Inhale halfway up and exhale as you place that right hand on the outside of your left foot. 
It can also be on the inside if this is too intense. Open up to the side wall, squaring your shoulders to the side wall in reverse triangle. Reverse Trikonasana. Exhale down. Hands are on either side of your foot. Inhale halfway up. Place your left hand on the right side of your left foot. And open up to the side wall. Again, squaring your shoulders <clears throat> to the side wall. Exhale down. Inhale halfway up once again. Exhale down. Inhale all the way up. Swan that backward, hands come together. Exhale down. Inhale as you bend that left knee. Moving forward into a marching position once again. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And exhale down. Shake it out. Good job, everyone. We'll do the other side. Starting in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Draw your hands to Anjali Mudra. Come up on that left tippy toe. Draw your left heel to your right ankle, to your right calf, or to your right thigh. Vrikshasana A, B, or C. Whoa, got a bunch of birds flying behind me. I should not be watching them. Inhale those arms up overhead. Again, into Talasana. Hands come together. And exhale down. Draw your knee to a marching position. Flex your foot. Inhale, those arms up overhead. Into Stork. Utita. And down. Take a giant step back at a diagonal. With that left foot. Draw your hands to Venus Mudra. Inhale first. Shoulders back and down. Humbly bow yourselves as you exhale. Over that right thigh. And again, maybe let your wrists come towards the center of the room with gravity. Draw them back towards your waist. Release, placing them on either side of that right foot. Inhale halfway up. Exhale as you place that left hand on outside of your right foot. If this is in your practice, open up to the side wall. Reverse Trikonasana, reverse triangle. Exhale down, placing your hands on either side of your foot once again. Inhale halfway up. Place that right hand on the left side of your right foot. Open up. Squaring your shoulders to the side wall. Opening your hearts in Trikonasana. Exhale down. Inhale halfway up. Exhale down. And then inhale all the way up. Swan that backward. Hands come together. Exhale those hands down. Slightly bend that right knee as you inhale that left leg forward into a marching position. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Good job, everyone. And exhale down. Shake it out. Come up to the tops of your mats. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway up. Take a giant step back with your left foot. Walk that right foot all the way across. Right knee down, left knee down, left top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Take Venus Mudra and 
exhale, forward. Placing that left cheek on the mat. Again, in humbly bowing pigeon. Draw your hands back towards your waist and release. Again, you can be either on your left cheek, your right cheek, wherever you are is perfect. Opening up that right hip, releasing any unwanted emotions that you may be storing there. Breathing in and out. Inhale as you walk your hands back again, coming off on that right hip. Swing your left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to your right thigh. Bring that right foot in and that right elbow in. Inhale that left arm up and around. Find your right hip crease. Possibly take a bind in the Mariandrasana twist. Again. Breathing in and out, releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. Again, always remember to drink lots of water after any yoga practice. Inhale back to center, shake your legs out. Come up to the tops of the mats in Malasana Yogi Squat. And again, you can either stay here or you can maybe rotate into Vakasana. If this is in your practice, don't feel like you have to. And again, in Vakasana, we're working on our core strength, arm strength, and bone density. But again, you can join us in Malasana. Inhale from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra and exhale down again. Inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Place your hands on the mat, inhale, halfway up. Again to Arda, sorry about my shirt. Take a giant step back. This time with your right foot, walk that left foot all the way across. Left knee down, right knee down, right top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Possibly take Venus Mudra and exhale down. Again, placing that left cheek, excuse me, right cheek on the mat if this is in your practice. But you can be wherever you want to. You can be on your elbows, your left cheek. You can be on your backs. Wherever you are is perfect. And again, releasing whatever does not serve you into the mat. Draw those arms back. Release. And then from here, inhale as you walk those hands back again, coming off on that left hip. Swing your right leg all the way around. Right foot is parallel to your left thigh. Bring that left foot in and your left elbow in. Inhale that right arm up and around. Find your left hip crease. Or maybe take a bind in the Mario Drossen twist. your legs and shake them out. Bend your knees. Arms are out on either side of your knees. Make sure your block is handy. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch. 
vertebra by vertebra down to the mat. And when you get there, draw those knees in for a much deserved hug. Rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. And place your heels just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push that block up, placing it underneath your sacrum on the highest, second or third levels, wherever you are is perfect. Again, in a supported bridge, breathing in and out. Again, you can walk those feet out. You can draw your arms overhead in a T formation or a mushroom formation, or you can stay here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then from here, maybe draw those arms in, legs in. Inhale as you push your hips up. Release the block, but put it up on the lowest level and exhale down. Inhale those legs up overhead into legs straight up. Again, allowing the circulation to come back down to our vital organs, back down to our brains. And then exhale as you bend your knees. Inhale as you push those hips up, release the block and exhale down. Good job. Draw those knees in for a hug. Then cross that right leg over left. Wrap your feet, arms are out east and west. Inhale first. Exhale as you draw those knees over to the left. Look over your right shoulder in a full body twist. Inhale back to center. Unwrap, unwind. Give yourselves a hug. And then cross that left leg over right, wrap your feet, arms are out east and west, inhale first, exhale as your knees fall over to the right, again full body twist, inhale back to center, unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug, inhale through your noses, side out, inhale, One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso, palms are up to receive, down to ground, starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers, relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms, relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders, relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks, relax your foreheads, Relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe start uh, touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead. Extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths.
then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room, legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of our practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Monday. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and namaste. Take advantage of this great weather, but watch out for snakes. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. So great to see you. And thank you, Lynn and Lisa, for being at the meeting yesterday. That was such a nice meeting. And 